Hello, buddy. It's Zechariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my running to run for all the fallen police officers, firefighters, and U.S. Border Patrol members who your life in line of duty in 2021. And unfortunately, tonight I'm running for another deputy who have lost his life in line of duty. Tonight I'm running for fallen deputy Terry Dyer. He worked with the Madison County Sheriff's Office in Tennessee, and his end of watch was April 20th, 2021. He lost his life after suffering a fatal heart attack just two days after he responded to a uh, uh, domestic violence call at a local church. He was 62 years old at the time of his passing, serving 33 amazing years as a law enforcement officer. 30 years he served with the Jackson Police Department and his final three years with the Madison County Sheriff's Office. He was a U.S. Army, US Army uh, veteran and he leaves behind a daughter and other like family members. I know the daughter is watching this run tonight and lots of the department is watching this run tonight as well up in Tennessee. Tonight I'll be running with the blue line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track with my school, which is the equivalent of one mile in his honor. Tonight I'll be joined by five agencies, including the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, Oviedo Police Department, and the Winter Springs Police Department, who are all patrolling tonight. We are also joined by the Seminole County Sheriff's Office and the U.S. Customs and Border Section, who are running with us. We are also joined by an Orange County Sheriff's Office deputy, who is a part of the Central Florida First Responders by Pipes and Drums. He'll be playing tunes during the run as well. Even though it seems like just me and two of us running, at the same time, there's even more running, and that's all the fall and I have ran for. I know the all running is here tonight, including the fallen deputy, Terry Dyer. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department, through the hard time they are going through, and they'll be on my way. Those that are tuned in this evening tonight, Zechariah running his first of two miles to honor two heroes lost in the line of duty. This first mile tonight in honor of fallen deputy Terry Dyer. He worked with the Madison County Sheriff's Office in Tennessee. His end of watch, April the 20th, 2021. Tragically, he lost his life after suffering a fatal heart attack just two days after responding to a domestic violence call at a local church. He suffered a heart attack while in a courtroom. 62 years old at the time of his passing, served 33 amazing years in law enforcement. 30 of which was with the Jackson Police Department, his final three with the Madison County Sheriff's Office, also served as a nation as a U.S. Army veteran and leaves behind a daughter, many other loving family members. so appreciative of the different local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah tonight, helping pay tribute to fallen Deputy Terry Dry uh, Dyer. We have members of our hometown agencies, both the Seminole County Sheriff's Office and the Winter Springs Police Department. Seminole County is actually running and patrolling behind Zechariah. We also have neighboring agency, the Oviedo Police Department here tonight, also running with Zechariah. We have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection based out of the Orlando International Airport playing pipes tonight. We have a member of the Central Florida First Responder Pipes and Drums Band. Again, we're here tonight to pay tribute to a 33-year veteran of law enforcement as well as a hero to this nation, a U.S. Army veteran, fallen Deputy Terry Dyer of the Madison County Sheriff's Office in Tennessee, whose end of watch was April the 20th, 2021. 62 years old when he suffered a fatal heart attack on the line of duty, leaves behind a daughter and other loving family members. Zechariah now completing his second lap to honor this hero tonight. For every mile that Zechariah completes, he carries with him a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. This flag tonight, a blue line flag, will get sent to the family of fallen Deputy Terry Dyer, as well as a handwritten note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the afternoon. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, please visit running the number four heroes.org. I'm going to go silent starting on this next lap, and I'm going to remain silent for the duration of the run as the bagpipes play an honor tune. 
to help honor this hero. Our prayers go out to Deputy Dyer's family, his daughter, as well as his agency, everybody at the Madison County Sheriff's Office in Tennessee who are mourning the loss of this hero. We thank Deputy Terry Dyer for his many years of service, 33 years to be exact. We also thank him for his years of service to this nation, defending not only the freedoms of his community, but the, defend the freedoms of his country. May God bless the Dyer family and may we never forget him.
Zach Ryan, any final words to the family of fallen Deputy Terry Dyer? Every fallen Deputy Terry Dyer, his whole family, his daughter, his family members, all of his friends, and Deputy the Madison County Sheriff's Office in Tennessee, I hope you all heal very soon to the passing of your fallen loved one and fallen friend. You know, I, I got to hear a lot about him over the past few hours. Deputy Terry Dyer, he, I was told by many people with the department that he was a great man. He would, you know, go on for somebody um, if they were not able to attend their shift one day. You know, he was the one that would uh, go out to save as much people as possible. And even if he was not assigned to calls, if he was near a call, he would go out to that call and still help out, you know. And not only was he a great first responder, but I know he was a great friend. I heard by many people he was, um, he always made them all laugh at the department. He was such a, a kind-hearted person and a really dedicated person towards community serving 33 years. I also know that behind a daughter and other like family members, I got to talk to his daughter today as well. And you know, he just she just told me so much amazing things, including not only did he serve 33 years in law enforcement, he was also a U.S. Army veteran. So he served more than 33 years when it comes to being um, a hero in the community because he was also a U.S. Army veteran. So just a great guy overall, and it's very sad um, the way that he passed away. But you know, I want his whole department and his whole family, including his daughter and his whole family, to know that we will never forget Deputy Terry Dyer down here in Florida. And I hope throughout this run, people throughout the whole entire nation will never forget his dedication and sacrifice toward this community. If you're part of Deputy Terry Dyer's family, including his daughter, which we'll be sending us to, I'll be sending you this blue line flag, the same one I ran with in his daughter tonight. This was a handwritten note that I've already written and ready to be sent out to your location. There's no preference on what we want to do to flag or the note, but whatever you do with it, we will find comfort every single time you look at it, knowing that your fallen hero, Deputy Terry Dyer, will never be forgotten in your community and throughout the whole entire United States of America. Like I said, he served 33 amazing years of service. And because of that, if all of you tonight would like to join me in a 33 second moment of silence, each second day kidding one amazing thing he served as a law enforcement officer, and each second day kidding one amazing thing he did during his life in general. Please do, because during his 33 seconds, you don't know how much it means to the family through the hard time they are going through. Thank you everyone for joining that 33 second moment of silence. Like I said, it does mean so much to the whole family. If you just bow your heads in that 33 second moment of silence for fallen Deputy Dyer. We have one more run to do tonight and it's for a fallen officer out of uh, a area outside of Phoenix. Um, and I've actually been to that community before so I know lots of people that are gonna be tuning in um, uh, for that second run. So if you also like join me in that run as well, please do. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a safe night and I pray God blesses you all.